All right, we're going to go ahead and cover the uh, our Scott air packs here at Andover. These are the Scott X3s. This is a X3000 mask. So inside this mask, you've got the uh, straps here to tighten it, your head basket, and then, uh, of course, the mask itself, along with our voice comm over here. So um, if we talk about wearing this and cleaning it, um, you'll see you got your name on it. This is your own individual mask. Uh, own individual voice comm. Uh, once you put this on, you're going to tighten this top strap to the point where you feel comfortable with it, and then uh, you're going to leave this there all the time, okay? And then these side straps, you can see, get pulled tight once you have it on, and to release them, you just pull that tab and then let them release. Uh, these ones are going to come in and out. So you're going to don the face mask, put your chin right in here, and seal this to your face. Pull the top straps first then pull the bottom straps. All right, so uh, in order to clean this mask, we gotta take this piece off, all right? This is our voice comm. So to turn the voice comm on, you can see that uh, there's a keyway right here and a keyway uh, key on here. So we just put this in like this and you heard it lock. So now it's locked on there. To turn the voice amp on, you get that jolly little noise. Okay, now it's working, you can hear it. To turn it off, hold it and the button will cause it to go off. All right, if you leave this on uh, 20 minutes and it will shut off all on its own. Uh, we're not supposed to submerge this, it can get wet, but uh, we're not supposed to submerge it. So when we're gonna wash the mask, we're gonna take it off. If you need to change the batteries, which we do on a regular basis, they're inside here. Right there, three triple A's. The orientation is right here. All right, so that's that. All right, so to wash this mask, once you take the voice amp off, this is designed to go in as one complete unit. So what we typically do is use Dawn dish soap, put it in some hot water, and if this basket is not dirty because it's under our hood. I don't wash it, so I'll dunk this in, swish it around, swish, 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 and then rinse it out in warm water, and then leave it out to dry. Don't place it back in your bag, because just like anything, it'll get moldy and icky and stinky. Uh, if you feel that you need to clean it even more thoroughly than that, you can take your nose cone out, like this, and wash this and wash deeper down inside. Okay, uh, when placing this back into the mask itself, you've got to fit this seal around here and fit it around here. So it's a little more difficult than it might seem at first. So we're going to pop this in here like this and make sure that when I look in here, these tabs are connected appropriately. This is fit on there, and now you can see that I'm gonna work this around this other fitting in here. Okay, it's important that this is put together right, otherwise it'll get really sloppy around your face, and you can usually identify the people that have it incorrectly installed, because it'll be like up near their eyes or something like that after a while of wearing it. Okay, so once you get both sides done, that's complete. Okay, uh, once it's uh, dry, lock this baby back on there, and that's ready to go in your mask bag and put away. All right, so we're gonna keep going here. Uh, this is the X3 pack right here. So when you look at it, you got your shoulder straps, your waist straps, just like seat belts. Okay, they buckle together and they pull tight just like this and then they loosen and you pull this tab open all right inside here you got your buddy breather this is a connection on a line that you can hook up to each other's packs so that you can breathe off of their air cylinder to help get you out and we'll train on that a lot more later on uh, this is called your ECM it's the electronic control module for the pack itself. Uh, it also reads how much air is inside your tank and gives you several indicator lights and uh, a way to activate it. We're gonna do that in just a moment also. And then here is your second stage regulator. 
Okay, this nothing locks this into here. All right, just this turn pulls this out. All right, inside here is what you're breathing through. Okay, so when you're on the scene, make sure this is here so that it protects you from breathing in anything that gets inside of that. So this should not be hanging loose. All right, uh, on here is an air saver switch. That I'll show you also, and a purge valve. So this purge valve is gonna blow air up through this here into your mask across the front of your mask. Okay, so we'll shut that off. To put this onto your mask, you want this red purge valve, think of Rudolph, right where your nose is, okay? And then you're gonna slide this in and then turn it to the side like so, okay? Now the click you heard is this button right here. Okay, so to take it off, we're gonna pull it off just like that, all right? Simple enough. So uh, once it's on the mask, this purge valve is going to blow that air across the front of the mask. Okay, so if it gets fogged up, you can purge and send air up to unfog the mask. Uh, this air saver switch, if you take the mask off your face once it's been activated, you're going to have to push this button to stop the air from free flowing through. And you can leave your mask hanging like this from your belt if you want, or from the back. Okay, so here we, we're gonna install a bottle onto the pack. So here's the bottle, this is a 45 minute bottle. You can see that there's a air indicator on each side. This should be within 10% of full. So if it's 4,500, you could be, you know, 400, 450 pounds less and still be considered full. Uh, We'll talk about filling this in the next video. This bottle slips right in here like this, either through the top or the bottom. This rotates here. So if you're in a position where it won't go in, pull this back until it clicks, okay? So you can line it up that way. Now the buckle over here, it's gonna cinch this up. It's supposed to be a little sloppy in here, so never tighten this up to where it's super tight and you gotta crank this down. Okay, so now we've got our air cylinder in installed. We'll talk a little bit about this. It's still reading zero because we haven't turned our valve here on. But if we want to check the batteries on this pack, we got two indicators. So I'm going to hold this yellow button down. And you can see the light there. Turns green, that means the batteries in the pack are good. If it turns yellow or red, they're obviously depleted or need to be replaced. The batteries are here. Uh, Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and power this up. You'll hear the chirp to begin with. And there's my switch right there. My purge valve was open, so I'll go ahead and shut that. But I want to make sure that my gauge here matches the gauge on the, on the bottle. So and that's within 10% also. Okay, so now we're, uh, we're aired up. Because this pack is not sensing any motion, it's going to alarm. If you wiggle this portion down here, it will shut off. That's in place so that if you pass out or you get knocked out or something, and you lie motionless, the alarm is going to activate to make sure that we can find you. All right. If you get trapped and you're still moving and you want to call for help, you're going to hit this button right here. If you want to shut it off, hit the yellow button over here twice. All right. So that's activating your pass alarm. All right. Other than that, if we're going to shut this thing off right now, now we've still got air on here. When we decrease this and air gets down to half your heads up display, which is here, is going to show you when it gets down there. So it'll be full green, and now it shows you that you're alarming. So this is to tell you when you're wearing what it's doing. So uh, now you see you're getting down to yellow. You know that this uh, your air is down is depleting, and that you're getting down to the red. So if we go even further. Shake 
with your face and make noise so you know you're running out of air. Okay? And you're going to see red in there flashing. That means you're out. Okay? So we'll empty this off. And then to reset this, because it's going to continue to go off, we're going to click this twice until you hear that loud chirp. All right. So when you don your air pack, you're going to want to put this on like, it like, a, like a backpack. And you want to tighten these shoulder straps first. Okay? So tighten it up onto your shoulders, put the air pack around your waist, and then tighten the waist straps. So it's designed to kind of rest on your hips, and then you can snug everything up. It's going to take you a while to figure out how you like best to wear it, but that's a brief overview of how this pack works.